Hey students, it's me, Mr. Fitz. So today's video is on medians and the centroid. So let's take a look. So here we have medians and the centroid. Um, sounds like a children's story. Once upon a time, there were three medians. Oh, come on. Here we go. Um, a median is a line segment connecting a triangle's vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So like, like every definition has multiple terms in it, right? So it's like kind of crazy. So let's make sure we know everything that's in this definition. So a line segment is just part of a line. So for example, a side of a triangle and a vertex is a point where two or more lines or two or more line segments meet. So for example, this point here Vertex A is where sides A, C, and A, B meet. And those are line segments. And what they're saying is that, so this vertex is gonna connect to the midpoint of the opposite side. So we need to find the midpoint, which would be the halfway point between C and B. So we could do that with a compass um, and find like the perpendicular bisector, or if we are doing this on paper or have some patty paper, you could fold it in half or you could use a ruler and measure it and then find half the distance, a lot of different ways. So here's the midpoint and I just labeled this point D and that's our median. It's connecting the midpoint to the opposite vertex. So a triangle has actually three medians. Um, so here's another one um, and here's the third one. So when you're constructing medians, if you did them correctly, they should all intersect at the same place. And what is this point called? the centroid. Um, that is one of the four triangle centers. So the triangle actually has four centers, which is kind of strange. Um, there's the centroid, the in center, the circum center, and the ortho center. So we're just gonna focus on the centroid today. Um, later in the year, we'll maybe talk about some of those others. So here we go. Fun fact about the centroid is the centroid is actually the center of gravity of a triangle. So you can actually balance a triangle on a pencil and I'll show you how to do that later. So pretty cool. Um, so for those of you that are like into architecture or engineering, there you go. So let's get into some math, uh, numerical math, I should say. Um, so here's a theorem. Uh, a centroid divides the medians into a ratio of two to one. So this is our first like little instance of ratios. And so ratios are, um, it's just expressing um, something that's part to part. So we're used to fractions, ratios are a little different. And so let's look at an example. So for example, if I labeled this centroid point X, um, and if this length were 20, if this were in a ratio of two to one, that means the longer part of this is gonna have two parts. The shorter part is gonna be one, one part. So it could be like 20 to 10. Think about this though, like if there's, two parts over here and one part over here, there's actually three parts in all. So notice AD equals 30, right? The whole median here has a length of 30. So therefore that's what these three dots mean. XD, this length, this part of the median is actually only one third of the entire median. And AX is two thirds. So that's why we get this like two parts to one part, that's part to part, where a fraction is actually part to whole. So that's why it's a little confusing when we're thinking about ratios. And that's where students get confused a lot. We're gonna deal with ratios a lot later in the year, but this is, I thought this was a good time to introduce it, plant that seed in your head. And then when we get to it again later in the year, hopefully it'll make a little more sense. So let's look at a Delta math question. So here's a Delta math question. If I O, equals 18, that's the length of this line segment, find IM. Well, there's some information we don't know. Like, how do we know this is a centroid? Well, here's how. So you see all these like funky markings on here, like these like hash marks or dashes, whatever you want to call them. What this means is it means like line segment IN is the same length or congruent to KN. So if these two line segments are the same, that means N has to be a midpoint, right? It has to be equidistant to the endpoints, or it's a bisector. It's cutting this line segment in half. So if that's a midpoint, and then look, 
KM is congruent to JM, so that must be in a midpoint. And then JL is congruent to IL, so that also must be a midpoint. So these are all three midpoints. Then these have to be all medians, therefore they're intersecting at the centroid. So then I know that this has to be in a ratio of two to one because it is a centroid in fact. And we know a centroid divides a median into a ratio of two to one. So therefore, again, we have those three dots, IO to OM is in a ratio of two to one. And that's how we kind of express these ratios. So if this were 18, this has to be half of that, which is nine, right? Two parts to one part. How does that work algebraically? So I could think about this like making this X and then I could say, all right, well, two to one equals 18 over some number X and I'm looking for that number. So I could then cross multiply. If I have two fractions that are equal to each other, I can cross multiply. So two times X equals 18 times one. So two X equals 18. Divide both sides by two. And what do you end up with? X equals nine. So there you go, how you find that algebraically. I haven't found the answer to this yet, right? Because I am is the length of the whole line segment. So I need to find I am. I found I O and O M. Well, I am is the whole thing. So it's just 18 plus nine, which is 27. So there you go. That's your solution. We'll look at a different example in a minute. So these problems are a little easier. Um, basically, what this is saying is in triangle BCD, H is the intersection of the three medians. If CF equals 20, find FD. So if this line segment equals 20, if I know this is the intersection of three medians, I know that's the centroid. So if that's a median, that's the midpoint. So F has to be the midpoint. So then this has to be 20. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, sometimes they're gonna have you find the whole line segment. So just be careful and figure out what the question's asking you. Um, are you trying to find the whole or half? Um, what are you trying to find? So in this case, the answer is 20. Let's look this one, I'll look at this one. So why don't you try this one on your own? I'm gonna read it. In triangle NOP, in triangle NOP, T is the intersection of the three medians. If NR equals 15, find NT. So this whole line segment here equals 15 and we need to find NT. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can find, solve that on your own and then I'll show you how I did it. So here's how I did it. Let's take a look. So NT plus TR equals NR, right? And I know that this is two parts to one part. Two parts here, one part here. So I have three parts in all, right? Well, I can think about this algebraically. If this is two parts to one part, well, it's kind of like two X plus one X. I'm just, I'm adding these two things together to find the whole, the three and all. So two X plus one X equals 15, because I know what NR is. So what's two X plus one X? That's just three X. Three X equals 15, divide both sides by three. You end up with X equals five. But what that gives me, it just gives me what this is equal to, TR. That's just fit five. But I want NT. I want this line segment. So I know NT equals 2X. And so what I've done here is I substituted in this five for X. NT equals two times five, which is 10. So that kind of makes sense, right? So this part here is 10. This part here is five. The whole thing is 15. That does fit that ratio of two parts to one part. 10 to five is the same as two to one. Okay, so hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, and I'll show you how to balance a triangle. Let's take a look. So here we go. Um, I have a little triangle here and I've got all my, I used a compass, so I got a lot of sketch marks on there to find my medians and there's my centroid. And so if I take my pencil and I just balance the triangle right on the centroid, let's see if I can get that. There we go. Ta-da. Oh, it's like magic. All right, 
So mathematical. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions.